Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new episode of Clash Royale. Before starting today's video, I just want to tell you guys that I just crossed 75 subscribers. So a big thank you to each one of those 75 people and I promise you to bring more quality Clash Royale content in the near future. So for today's video, we're gonna be playing this same lumberjack balloon deck. I made a video earlier on this deck so which you can find right here. It was in Hindi so I decided to make an English version of it. So the main strategy behind this deck is to bait out the counter for balloon which could be minion horde, musketeer, wizard or anything else and then go on with push with lumberjack in front and balloon in the back so that lumberjack tanks for the balloon and when he dies the balloon gets the rage effect. Also you can opt in for chip damage using the goblin nut. So place as many as goblin huts in the ground and make the opponent to overspend and use the counter for balloon. Also you have cards for defense like archers, inferno dragon, guards so make sure to use them wisely. Without wasting any time let's move into our first battle of today's evening. So for the first match I am against someone whose name I can't pronounce because it looks like it is made up of jumble words. So we can go uh, goblin hut in the okay uh, let's uh, zap these archers hey, we will still get one shot okay let's go with goblin hut and uh, okay a musketeer we could fireball this musketeer but i'm gonna wait and see what else okay let's fireball this uh, archers this side so that musketeer won't get okay a pump mm, let's go with balloon oh good luck by him uh, zap these archers oh he zapped my balloon too the balloon won't get a hit on tower but the archers will be dead soon and they are so a full health pump is going by his side and we don't actually have anything to kill that pump uh, I'm hoping it Oh uh, yeah, I was gonna say I'm hoping in Golem, and there it is. So we have Inferno Dagger for his Golem, and let's hope he does not have uh, Electro Wizard. Another pump. Okay, let's go with Inferno Dragon. Uh, let's go with Lumberjack for this Musketeer. No Musketeer, Lumberjack count. Damn. Uh, let's fireball this. Musketeer still alive. Okay, now Musketeer is down. So he has two pumps going on by his side, and we have almost nothing we can do. Another golem. Okay, uh, let's go archers in the back. Uh, goblin at this side because we don't have Inferno Dragon never in rotation. Uh, I think we should be good if we use guards in instead of Inferno Dragon. Yes, we'll be good. And the golem goes down. Kill the golemites. Uh, lumberjack for this. Oh, oh, fireball these elite barbarians. Archers in the middle to kill them. But still we took a lot of damage. Because we are so much down on the elixir. And let's go goblin hut. So that the archers won't get any chip damage. And he is going with another pump. Okay. So he has three pumps. Now two. Uh, we could go in with. Uh, let's, uh, let's try to defend this match. And make it a draw because i don't hope we can win this uh, let's uh, put our uh, inferno dragon in the back for this golem uh, another pump we could fireball this but i think we have a lot of stuff which i can do with fireball uh, zap these bats golem is dead we are doing pretty well we are doing pretty well another golem okay uh, goblin hit here and uh, inferno dragon here to kill that golem he may be going with elite barbarians anytime in the opposite lane another pump okay so he is cycling pumps very fast because he is so much upon elixir than us let's go lumberjack for this musketeer and fireballs all this together and archers here oh i misplaced archer the elite barbarians would get couple of hits uh, goblin nut for this golem again Inferno Dragon again. 23 seconds left. I don't think there is much time so that he can do anything. He's at my Inferno Dragon, which is cool. Luke Golo would still die. Uh, Lumberjack for this Musketeer. And 
okay i was not hoping that we could win this i was not hoping that we could even draw but we still managed to draw and despite he has four pumps right now as you can see but we still managed to draw good game a tough start but we played well so moving on to the next one and see who we face let's click the battle button and go mm, so we are against Ga uh, I, I, I can't pronounce his name either because it is so uh, never mind so we could go uh, archers in the back okay archers for this balloon oh zap this minion horde uh, infinite dragon for this and a rage okay he spent so much I think we could go balloon because he's spent so much also his minion road is out of rotation let's go balloon and hope he does not have anything like rocket or something i think he is so much down on elixir and this tower is down he has this tower is down the inferno dra dragon locks in inferno tower could do nothing and the tower is down so he spammed us and we spammed him back so, uh, now we can go goblin head here and see what he does but the goblins will still die to infinite dragon i guess i mean infinite tower oh a rocket and let's go with guards to kill this infinite tower now we can go lumberjack archers another rocket so let's go lumberjack in the front of these archers oh i need a bit of elixir let's go lumberjack Oh, Valkyrie. Okay, just let's put a balloon in the middle. No, uh, it is out of rage. We we made a mistake, but balloon gets a hit. Okay, and the minion who dies to the balloon damage. Let's give him a thumbs up. He he, he has no idea what he is doing. Let's go with another goblin hat and do some more chip damage. Uh, he's gonna rocket cycle again with multiple rockets i don't care uh let's go with infinite dragon no rage no rage zap this balloon and balloon does not get any hit so lumberjack in the middle mega knight let's go with balloon and finish off this tower because i don't think he has anything to counter that die mega knight Mega Knight gets a hint, but it doesn't matter, we already have the tower down. Let's fireball all this together, let's fireball, fireball, and it goes. So, 2-1 it is, and I don't think he has much elixir or much time to finish off, off of a tower, but he can rocket it cycle, let's, let's go in for 3 crown, because I don't like waiting in this condition. Okay, the battle reaches the king tower, and it is GG, well played. It is three crowns right here, right now. He played well, but we played better. So a good game, three crowns, tattoo trophies. Cool. So let's move on to the next one and keep the W's flowing. Searching for opponent. Okay, we are in. So for the next matchup, we are against PDD from DNP clan. Quite unusual names. So he's a level 9, it might be an easy matchup for us, we have a bad starting hand, we could go lumberjack for this hawk and guards for this electro wizard, ok the hog is dead, so is the electro wizard and let's see what he put for our lumberjack, ok another electro wizard, so he is rocking a mirror, so he may be planning to do a mirror hog on us maybe, so since he just used his electro wizard we can go in with the balloon and i don't think he has much elixir and any other card to counter the balloon okay a witch but witch can't do anything the balloon will still get at least uh, one shot okay the witch will die to the dead damage of balloon but a uh, slight has left the prince's tower will finish it off so good start to the game he has electro wizard which may be a quite good counter for our balloon so let's keep in mind his rotation and put in the balloon when the wizard is out of rotation okay uh, giant skeleton uh, we could go inferno dragon in the back but he will be ready with info uh, the electro wizard let's put guards to kill this electro wizard another one 
uh, let's kill with the fireball and zap this electro wizard okay we spent a lot of elixir but we still managed to defend bro can't you fly faster okay the inferno dragon is down uh, lumberjack for this hawk hopefully he will kill the spear goblins too yes he did let's go in with balloon and finish this off and the tower goes down so uh, the tower is down the witch still has full health in go goblin hut uh oh uh, let's go in front of dragon for this he might be coming with electro wizard yes he did uh, let's fireball all this together clip in the hawk too good zap this but the hawk survives okay oh uh, arches oh bad timing for arches he is going with another witch we might be in trouble here lumber check for this witch uh witch dies another one please die another witch okay let's go uh guards for this uh, goblin her for this and uh farm guard guards for this and make our fireball ready for the electro wizard and maybe a potential hawk yes it is fireball this hog and wizard together uh, zap this the hog is dead so is the spear goblins he played well but we still managed to defend and got the victory two one and boom we are victorious he played well but still uh, for one second i thought that we're gonna lose or something oh giant says good a good matchup we got two wins straight and let's move into the next one and see who we face but uh, okay okay let's move in the next one searching for opponent okay we are against someone level 10 okay uh, let's go with the uh, goblin hut maybe okay yeah goblin hut Uh, and see what he puts hawk giant balloon okay balloon uh, inferno dragon for this balloon cards for this wizard i think i misplayed cards yeah the card will be dead uh arches this side no yes for this inferno dragon okay he's spamming again uh, lumberjack for this with what does he have knight skeleton army goblin gang okay skeleton army zap this oh the lumberjack dies too so he has a quite spammy deck we can say uh, let's go in with uh, goblin hut yes his card levels are pretty decent too he has level 2 inferno dragon let's go with goblin hut he probably gonna be going with wizard and I will be thinking a fireballing game but I won't because if he puts balloon on the bridge we can clip in balloon too nothing let's fireball this now he'll be coming with balloon shortly I hope yes there it is in one dragon for this his inferno dragon okay let's put our arches ready for this inferno dragon and let's go lumberjack in front Kami Minion Horde The Lumberjack gets on the tower And doing some juicy damage Okay the tower is down to 1843 And I, I wonder why he didn't use his Skeleton Army Cards for this witch And Fireball this wizard Another Goblin Hut Because Goblin Hut is doing so much chip damage He's gonna be going with balloon again. Yes. Inferno dragon for this balloon. Archers ready for his inferno dragon. Okay, zap this minion horde. Archers here. Okay, he raised too. I think it's time for going for the final push. Lumberjack. Balloon on top. Make our fireball ready for anything. There goes the fireball. Zap this Skarmy. Uh, archers for this inferno dragon the tower goes down 
Wow, we played so well that we didn't took any single hit on our tower. Our tower are still maintaining the virginity and we are done. 30 plus trophies and now we are at 3100. Cool. So that would be the last battle of today's evening and before finishing off the video, I did a war attack in this current war. I still have two attacks remaining and let's hop into the replay of the attack I did. It was quite fun. Let's see how I did watch okay this is the replay it was a draft battle so i chose which because which can counter minion hold i chose uh what did i choose i can't remember yeah the, the royal giant and electro wizard i guess yes i did and rocket no fireball okay I'm sorry. So his name was Dom. He was level 9. And he also is using a 3 musketeer, which are quite handy if you are using a good deck. But his deck was not able to suit 3 musketeers. So I did. I also had fireball to kill them. So I decided to go opposite lane with my royal giant. But then I thought Electro Wizard would be good to do some chip damage. Okay, Electro Wizard did some chip damage, and now he was planning to go with Ice Wizard, I guess. Okay, both of them. So I put my Witch behind, and also she has a Princess. The princess was sniping onto the Witch. Then I decided to go with my Magic Archer so that I can chip. Uh, some damage to the tower but he decided to go with graveyard but look at the range of magic archer he is thrashing the skeletons by that far then he go on with minion horde magic archer took a little bit care of it but meanwhile the royal giant did a lot of damage so the minion horde dies and i decided to go with all in using the battle ram he decided to go with the ice wizard but he wasn't able to defend that and also the ice wizard died to it and the shield of dark prince too and look here almost a full health or maybe a 75 percent health dark prince but electro wizard can stop it see electro wizard is so op against the things which uh, are charged to attack like bandit the perfect card which can which electro wizard can counter is sparky the it is so op against sparky so i decided to go with uh, royal jet on the other lane because I knew he was gonna put a lot of pressure to the right tower so I decided to go with left tower I kept my fireball ready so that if he could if, if he put anything else but he decided to go with something tricky like the tower locks onto the skeletons and these three musketeers would do damage but I overspent and took a little bit care of it I went in with another lower royal giant so there was no chance for him to defend the minion who dies and also he has no time left for the victory I decided to go with witch to defend against that graveyard and he rocketed but there was not much time and it was GG he played well but you know Three musketeer is no match against a fireball in his head, even a single fireball. So that was a good match he played. I still have two war attacks remaining, and I think I will do later on. Not in this video because what if I lose? Uh, that was a good game, and that here will be the end of today's video. Wait a second. Let's give him the hog. Yeah. That will be the end of today's video. This is the deck one more time. Try this. I am having fun with this. And you will too. We are at 3100 trophies. And I will do more little pushing in the future. So if you like this video. Then don't forget to hit the like button. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And press the bell icon to get notified for more stuff like this. I will see you all in the next video. Until then take care and keep flashing.